Guys, Jed Walters here. We are down at Mazda Golf Centre. It's episode three of Kathy and Kay's Mazda Golf. Lucy, Roy, how are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. Good. Days change. It's been really good. Cool. It's over the past. Yeah. It's chilly. It's been a day. Not a day. Not a bad day. So, we've done basic movements, seven iron, looking at what's happening and, and making some improvements to how his body is working and dominating his golf swing. We've taken that into um, his driver. We did plan, and we did mention this at the end of episode two, to do three wool fairway woods off the deck and hybrid, but we had, we were chatting a little curve while we've thrown in bunker play. Um, getting a bit better at accuracy, aiming, intending to get it closer to the target and not just getting it out of the bunker. So we decided to not quite do the, the schedule that we wanted to do, and we sort of tweaked something which we think is a bit more important. Yeah, yeah. a bit more important. So, basic bunker shots, we're just going to have a little look at what's happening in the basic shot. Um, we've got flag out just on our right hand side here. As he goes and makes the string, we're going to change the angle, do a little bit of almost sky sporty camera <laughs> angles so we can see what is happening. Um, and then when we look at it, we'll look at the both angles, and then we're going to have a little look at and make sure that when we're practicing, we're not having to sort of guess at whether we're moving in the way we really want to move and we'll use a slight different camera angle. So we're going to hit and we've got a few more balls. That's it. We go to shot. As we go through. So we've got our flag just out here in the distance. And we're just going to hit this shot. We can see it going through that. So it's just clipped a little bit of the lip. It's gone really close. He's almost hold it. <laughs> it did clip a little bit of the lip though. And again, we get another one from this angle here. Okay, so we got a little bit, a little bit better contact on that one there. We can just see that one that's right by the flag there. That was his first one he has hit. Right, I'm just going to change the angle for a second. Let's get to the second camera. Okay. That one's just ran on a little bit there through the back of the green. Right, let's just take a little look at what's happening and as we go through. Right, so we've looked at my setup position. I've got live golf down here, uh, which is a great little camera. It's attached to, I would normally have it to the iPad. The iPad's running a lot of battery, so I'm using the phone for a minute. Uh, so what's happened is the image the camera sees is displayed on the phone. So Lloyd doesn't have to change anything, doesn't have to come out of posture, doesn't have to follow the golf club, doesn't have to guess at where his golf club is travelling in the back swing when he's making this alteration that we're going to do now. Because we've seen from the, that he's very square on, so it's leading edge doing a lot of the work. We want to use the bounce on the club. The guys, the, the bounce angle on the club is, it's the gap between the leading edge and this back edge here. So we want to use this. So, what we're going to ask Lloyd to do then, is from his position now where he's set up, I want you to feed the grip through your hands so the face opens up. Brilliant. Now we see the face is going off to the right hand side now. So we need to, I mean, the, the face is going to send the ball in the direction it's in. So we now need to move the body to reposition the face round towards the target. Brilliant. So from that point now, just round his hands just a fraction. Just wiggle your feet into the ground. I want you to feet to sink in a little bit because what this is doing is it's making the lowest point of the golf swing underneath the golf ball. Now it's taking him below the level of the golf ball, which is great. So from this point now, the swing needs to come in the direction of the feet, the direction of the toes. So what's going to happen here is as Lloyd makes the swing here and live, if you move this way, you can see how the club is and the hands are quite close in here. We actually want to feel it this way. So you want to see it almost going up into this top corner of the screen. Yeah. From here, we're coming down. Yeah. So that's what we want to see and feel. Just feed that club face open a little bit more. We've tweaked our hands on a little later. It'll be great. He's going to be brave, folks. 
And we're adding so nice and smooth, nice and confident into the sand, using the, the balance of the club to go through the sand. Beautiful, the splash was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, it's great. That, that was fantastic. That's a really nice one. It's a really controlled difference as well. So, look at this, this little bit of the sand here. But we've got here just a gentle little bit of sand as we've come through. It's really just splashed it out. There's no dig, there's no scrape. This ball isn't out of control, it's in total control as we've gone through. Okay, that came out space, that's good. So again, I'm going to put another one down there. So really, open that club face up again. We'll get a little bit of sort of pan and tell you a little bit of Sky Sports action going on here now. Beautiful, so it's just nicely popped out, splashing out on the sand. Now, we're going to hit one more shot because what happens now is if we can make a nice big swing, go through a little bit more speed, then we're going to change how far this golf ball goes with this face position here. And then, what we'd also find that we could tweak the amount that we would turn the face to the right and the body then around to the left to change how far we were going to hit it. Okay, so we took a little bit more sand there, yeah? A little bit of leading edge dig. We can see almost like a bit of a, a, a dig of the bottom of the bunker rather than taking that nice little scrape and splash that we had before. Now let me just re-rake for a second and we'll just hit two more. Feeling, we want to see that at it. So, move in more, then we'll have to move it back at it. Just in that cover. So, we want to see if we're going to this way into this corner of the screen. We'd like you to have to do it around here so we can move up and across that way. Letting the club face do all the work because that's the direction we put it into. Beautiful, what a great golf shot that was. And it's there, just out there, it's the middle of those three that we can just see. Fantastic. Yeah, nice little bit of there as well. One more. So just open the body out and touch on that face, that's it. The game, we want to see that nice position. Beautiful. And again, zooming in there. So it is just going around to the left. So what we've done there is we've taken, as you say, you just used the right word there, fear of the bunkers. We've taken the, what would normally be, okay, I want to hit it there with a square face and have the, the lack of control, yeah. ultimately, um, is, is what we've taken away and we've created uh, a routine of opening the face, moving into position, wriggling the feet to help us get underneath using the bounce angle to then glide under and throw a cushion of sand out towards the green, towards the target area and the ball comes out on that cushion so we're not really hitting the ball, we're just we're, we're digging a cushion of sand out which the ball sat on top of and the ball just floats out lovely, drops back and releases. If we take too much sand then we're going to struggle to be able to control our distance. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a little practice drill. So when you come down and you're at the golf course or, or you're down here practicing, this is what you need to do. I'm going to move live here out of the way now. Lovely images from right here. Um, I'm going to get the line with this for a second. Right, so. Right, I'm just going to let you come to you guys. And as, as you go through this drill, Lloyd, I'm going to do exactly what we've just seen on the other side of that camera there. So we'll see the results. If I out there, you'll be able to see the results of what happened. Okay. So, we've got a wall. We're going to take the club head. There. Right. We're going to take the club head that side. So we've got one club head either side. Okay, now I'm going to make that a little bit of a thing around. 
So I'll zoom in here just to see if we can get an image on those lines. Okay. There we go. So you can see those lines that I've drawn down there. There they are. Right. So that's one head. If you look, if you just put the, the club head in their position, so the head, the face is looking at me. That's it. So we can see it's the width of the head either side. Yeah. So our challenge is to take the sand that is in between those two lines. Now, what we want is entry point, exit point, the lowest point then should be underneath the golf ball. Okay? Beautiful. That was fantastic. There it goes toward the flag. Right. If I was now to show you the entry and the exit, zoom just in there. There we go. So club's gone in almost on the line, just a fraction before it. It's gone out on it, just a fraction after it. And the deepest point is right in the middle of those two points, which is exactly where a golf ball was. Perfect. So this drill is great because it teaches us how we want to, into, uh, to get the club to get into the bunker, into the sand and out of the sand at a consistent point. We start then to take the same amount of sand as we go through, which is key. If we can get a constant amount of sand as we go out, we're going to get constant results. So this is a great drill. What you're going to do now is hit a few more shots. So, leaving the face open a little bit more, that's it. But when you do it, don't lean the handle back, just keep your hands looking like they're over the top of the ball. That's it. Okay, so we noticed there how it's dug a little bit too much. So if we're to get, if we were to get from there, the face, almost be as brave as possible with the face as open. Yeah. There's enough more to put the holes into it, but we said okay the face is going to look like it's there yeah. if it's a bit here when we're hitting this point we've got the leading edge a little bit too much of yeah. so we want to make sure that the bounce that goes all the way from that point okay one more let's see if we can finish with a, an awesome awesome move okay so we can we took a little bit a little bit too much sand there, just see it there, just creeped onto the, toward the very front edge of the green. And if we were to have a little look at the point there, we can see three entry points, two a little bit too far behind that line, one was absolutely perfect. So the better we get at this drill, the more success and consistency we're going to have. So if we bring this next one almost towards the front portion of those lines, that's it. Let's see if we can get a really nice entry and exit point. From there, so making sure from your perspective now, Lloyd, when you look down those hands, that shaft which I was leaning forward, yeah, perfect, that's it. Crucial piece from where we are there now. Beautiful, absolutely fantastic, and there it goes, just running onto the green. Brilliant, absolutely, yeah, and that's the key, it's the control. We get the, the entry point, let's just zoom in on that last entry point there. There we go, and again, it's like the first one. So we've got a run there of, of perfect, too early, perfect, and too early. So, yeah, it is. It's, it's no longer, we're no longer guessing, we're no longer thinking, okay, do we need to be doing this, do we need to be doing that? We've got a, what you could call a formula of how we approach your box time and yeah. Um if we practice this and we keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, we know that we're going to be more successful. We're also then going to make sure that our proximity to the hole is closer. So we've seen there, when we get it right, it releases beautifully out onto the green, which is perfect and out towards our target area. So more consistency in entry and exit route of sand, more consistency in control of flight and overall distance so it's not just about guessing and trying to get it onto the green okay we're getting it onto the green and into the area we need it to be so our puts are a little bit easier you know if we take one put instead of two puts two puts instead of three puts after we come out the bunker 
you're going to knock a lot of shots off, our game and reduce the handicap. Yeah, so, guys, thanks for watching. Post comments in the box below. If this is something that you don't do, you need to make sure that you're doing it because this is going to help you improve your bunker play. As always, comments in there below. Comments for the challenges, the Captain Kelly Man challenges. Post your comments in there. Maybe a little bunker challenges, little routes. Um, not just the basic one, but a few others. You throw your ideas in, and we'll have a look and see what we can come up with. Um, as always, make sure you subscribe to Lloyd's channel, uh, Captain Caveman's Golf for Lucy, because you're going to get more information about the hands about the stuff that we do together when he's practicing um, on the golf course and practice are just doing his everyday bit so four five yeah. <laughs> depends on how nice the weather is. Um, again follow the Instagram because there there's those little behind the scenes bits as well and the little nightly stuff. Again don't forget to hit the subscribe button there on this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and we look forward to seeing you again for episode four. Perfect. Episode four. All the way it's good. good